Hello there, everybody! I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome to my new Let's Play. This is Banjo-Tooie, the sequel to the classic N64 3D platformer Banjo-Kazooie, which I also Let's Played on my channel. I am super pumped to start this one. It's an amazing sequel, and in my opinion, it's actually better than the first Banjo, although it's not an opinion that's shared by many. But this is going to continue uh, where Banjo-Kazooie left off, and it's another exciting adventure, and it's super fun. I can't wait to get started. Let's hop on into this, shall we? Alright, so Banjo-Tooie has quite a few differences from Banjo-Kazooie. If they play relatively the same, and it's roughly the same, like, style of game, but a couple of big changes have been made. So, first off, we gotta find a file that we want. I'm just gonna erase this first file up here. It's fine, that's my old file where I got 90 jiggies. Alright. It's another 3D platformer, much like the first game, but this was basically Rareware's way of making the game bigger and better. Well, some people say it's better, some people don't. It's at the very least, it's a lot bigger and it's more ambitious, and in my opinion, this is one of the highest quality N64 games. The graphics are really good, noticeable improvement over the first game. Just a lot of small quality of life updates from the first game, like it controls a bit better, the characters I feel have more depth, there's a better story. It's 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 very interesting. Well, better story is subjective. But honestly, this is one of those games where... Like, I, I played it after the first Banjo, and I really, really liked this. But then I feel like as time goes on, I just like it more and more. And like I look back on this game just with such great fondness. This might low-key be my favorite 3D platformer. Like, ever. It's right up there with Mario 64 and Donkey Kong 64 for my favorites. But... I'll get more into why I love this game so much as we go on. Let's just start right now. We got three different files and then a bunch of other weird stuff we can do with options. We're just going to start a new folder right now. And this is an epic opening movie, I just want to say. Two years have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains until this very day. Kongo is still trying to move the rock. <clears throat> No good, mistress. Still can't shift the rock. Aw. Man, Klungo's been putting his back into it for a while. <sighs> All because of that stupid bear. What a stormy night. Meanwhile, Banjo's having poker night. Mumble play well. Has much of Bear's cash. He's right, Kazooie! There goes your bird seed money! <laughs> oh no! Don't be so sure, Banjo! Hey! Look outside, everyone! Grunty the Witch is coming! <laughs> Real slick, Kazooie. W where Kazooie? I can't see her! Oh, uh, false alarm bottles. Uh, it must have been some shadows. Come on, Boneface. Let's play. I feel lucky. Uh, Kazooie's her old snarky self. <laughs> it's nice of Banjo to have the boys over for a poker night every once in a while. Man, I love the graphics in this game. This storm is just beautiful. this someone be drilling S stop rocking the table you're m making me sick uh, 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 mumble not rock the table uh, uh, 
whole house sh shakes a lot. P perhaps one of us should go to take a look outside. Someone's bringing their drilling tank. Holy cow. Belda, our sister is waiting. Quickly, we must go, or angry Grunty will be. Then get off me while you must, or move I cannot. Grunty's sisters are here, oh boy. It stopped now. I wonder what it was. Sure was noisy. Let's go take a look, Kazooie. B but it's dark out there and... Uh, I'll be scared. Mumble much brave. Me go look outside. Back in minute. Nice one, Mumbo. <laughs> what a sucker, huh? <laughs> Come on, Banjo. Give me a hand. Kazooie! Kazooie, you can't win cards like that. It's dishonorable. <laughs> Mumbo means business. Mumbo looks a lot better in this game. Sorry, mistress. I have failed you. Worry, Grunty mustn't. Get you out, your sister's will. Big rock is some powers we must come by. Grunty's sisters, you should not mock. Now watch our magic blast this rock. I can't do a good Mingelda voice. Uh oh. The Grunty's been under there for two years. She's got to be dead now. Gone, Rock has. So out you can come. Oh, Grunty, you've seen better days. <laughs> no, no, no! This cannot be! What's happened to little old me? Nice grunty looks. Last week you have. I hate bones, a body I need. Can you help with this little deed? Uh oh, yes. She lost her eyeball. Yes, plan to help we have. So back to our castle we must go. Right then, girls. Let's fix me up. Then Banjo's hairy butt, I'll whop. This not good. Me go tell Banjo. Eh! Seen us, Bony Man has. Him we must whack. Leave it to me. He's no hassle. I'll kick butt, then off to the castle. <laughs> oh man, Grunty still remains to be one of my favorite villains. <laughs> oh no. Grunty's using Nevada Cadaver. You better watch out, Mumbo. Guess I'll be having that bird seed after all, huh, Banjo? But you cheated, Kazooie. That's not. Everyone must run. Quick, Grunty, coming.
Revenge is mine! I cannot miss! Let's see that furry fool dodge this! Yeah, yeah, Skullboy, and I bet she had two heads. No joke, look. <sighs> Spell coming. He's right! Quick, everyone out! I'm not falling for that trick again! I'm staying right here! That's not good. <laughs> Hurry, you must! Ready to leave we are! Hold on, sis! I'm nearly there! I've just been to blast that bear! <laughs> I love the way Grunty runs. <laughs> Troops we will leave! Destroy area they will! Well, that seems a little excessive. You don't need to leave the booger beans and pterodactyls behind. Stop! Wait for me, Mistress Grunty. No, no, Klongo! You stay here! I'll be back! Have no fear! Poor Klongo gets left behind. He needs a back massage. He's been pushing a boulder with his back for the last two years. Oh, oh, oh. Mumble's head hurts. Look at our house! Well, at least everyone got out safely. Hang on, where's Goggle Boy? Oh no! Uh oh, uh oh, Mo looks much unwell. It's worse than that! Grunty's killed poor Bottles! Well, he wasn't the favorite character in Banjo-Kazooie, anyway. Kazooie?! Sorry. Grunty wreck house and kill Bottles. She must pay. Baron Bird, get after Witch. Mumbo, see you later. Great. I get to peck some more witch butt. Let's go, Banjo. Ugh. I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. Well, that's the intro to Banjo Tooie. In case you couldn't tell, this game is quite a bit darker than the first game. Hurry up and get after the witch! Can't you see I am decaying down there? Yeah, so the game starts off with Grunty getting revived into a skeleton and them killing off one of the main characters of the first game. Poor Bottles. But holy cow, that that is quite possibly the darkest intro to any kid's game ever. <laughs> Yeah, this, this story is a bit darker than the first one, and the whole game is just generally darker than the first one, but I honestly, I'm okay with that. It does it very well, and it still has the lighthearted, kind of adult humor without being, like, gross. It, it's it's very nicely done. And, and the Spiral Mountain music, what happened to it? It used to be so happy, and now it's so depressed. It's so depressing. Oh, poor Bottles. He just wanted to play poker. Look at our house. Our house is destroyed, too. This is depressing music. It's our house. All that's left is this decayed picture of Tootie. And Tootie's not even around. Where's Tootie? I don't know. Maybe, maybe she went to college. 
I don't know. Tootie's not in this game, so... But it's okay, she was kind of the most boring character from the first game. Oh boy. I will say, though, one of the downsides to Banjo-Tooie is it's a very lag-heavy game because it's so visually impressive and there's so much to it. It's a very big game. Hey! I was the star of Banjo-Kazooie! Who's going to help you now that I'm dead? I don't know, Bottles. But one really cool thing that I love about Banjo-Tooie is that we start with every move that we learned in Banjo-Kazooie. Every single one. Which is really cool. <laughs> it's not just like, oh, Banjo forgot how to do everything and it needs to relearn it. No, he has all of his powers from the first game, which is really, really good. <laughs> we don't have to learn how to jump high, which is nice. Hurry up and get after the witch! <laughs> I can see that, Bottles. Oh no, his poor carcass. I'm sorry, buddy. Look at my best clothes! They're all burnt! That, you, you have more important things to be worrying about, I'd say. Also, they got rid of the terrible claw swipe from the first game, and replaced it with this peck attack, which still isn't very good. But it's at least a little better, and the dot, the roll attack is a lot better. You can, like, change direction during it. As everything controls much more smoothly in this game, which is awesome. Oh, come on. Eventually, <laughs> he does say different things. Alright, well, unfortunately, we have to leave Bottles dead here. Help! I was knocked off the barbecue and ended up under this rather weighty boulder. Please get rid of it. I can hardly breathe. Oh, it's pet. It's it's Banjo's pet goldfish, Royston. He's trapped under a boulder. <laughs> well, at least he wasn't barbecued for dinner. But this doesn't seem to be much of an improvement. <laughs> at least he can breathe. It's a good thing goldfish can breathe on land, right? And we can't help him either. <laughs> oh no. This whole place is rather destroyed. Klungo's just hanging out here. <laughs> Stupid bear and bird coming. Me wait for them in here. Klungo plays a much more active role in this game than he did in the first game. In the first game, he basically just appeared in like one or two cutscenes. In this, he's actually a decently major character. Which ability would you like to know more about? So here we can visit his different molehills to relearn the moves that we had in the first game, if you don't remember. But basically, Banjo-Tooie assumes that you've played Banjo-Kazooie, which I can get down with. It's it's basically a continuation of the adventure, and it's, it's... Again, bigger and better. I would say it's better. You can just tell the graphics are a bit of an improvement right now, can't you? Ooh, these gold feathers. <laughs> gold feathers are used for invulnerability! I don't know who this... this I don't know who this military mole is, but okay. Yeah, in the first game, basically all the inanimate objects you could pick up would talk to you to tell you what they were. In this, we've got just a weird military mole to help us out. The booger bean is a pretty easy enemy. <laughs> just attack him and he's dead. <laughs> Pick up honey to boost your energy! Okay. Kinda weird that we're just getting- we're not even getting introduced to this guy. He's just here. Try using eggs as ammo! Okay. Yeah, Spiral Mountain's still kinda the same. It's just decayed now. And kinda destroyed. That crate had nothing inside of it. Yeah, the molehills, you can basically go, and Bottles will teach you about the moves you learned in the first game. If, on the off chance, you're playing Banjo-Tooie before the first game. But you shouldn't. <laughs> Nothing in those crates. <laughs> it's the imprint where... Gr this is where Grunty was uh, trapped under the boulder, and it's got the Grunty imprint in it, which is funny. Red feathers are needed for Kazooie to fly! 
I kind of figured that out already. Oh man, this... I love how they took the basic tune of Spiral Mountain, which was like the happiest theme from the first game, and made it depressing in this one. It's, it's really good. <laughs> Alright, the Shock Jump Discs are back. We can jump high with that. And here's a collectible in the game that wasn't in the first one. Well done. You found one of my missing pages. Collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. It's Cheeto! We remember him from the first game. He was the book that gave us legitimate cheats we could use. They didn't break the game, they just made it a bit easier. So this spot, which used to just be a solid wall in the first game, there's now a tunnel leading out from it, because that's where Grunty's sisters came from. We can explore more of the mountain, though. Here's something new. That's a rock with Kazooie's face on it, underwater. We didn't have that last time. Another big improvement over the first game, the swimming controls are a lot better. I know they look kind of the same. It's a lot nicer to control than it was in the first game. And it gets better as it goes on, because you can learn new underwater moves. Okay, can I please get out of the water? Can I really? Why can I not get out of here? Man, your underwater jumps must be even worse than I remember. Well, there's a hollow honeycomb piece underwater in, like, a little cave down here in the first game. Is there anything there in this one? I actually legitimately don't remember. Or if the cave is even still here. I also don't remember that. It is. Doesn't look like there's anything there, though. And one interesting thing is, as you can see, we can carry 100 red feathers. We can only carry 50 in the first game without using the cheat. This game basically assumes you, you, you found all of Cheeto's codes in the first game and then used them. So we can carry, like, I think 100 or 200 eggs, 100 uh, red feathers, and 20 gold feathers, which is cool. If we go up here, there's it's no longer marshy at the top of here, but there's a flight pad now, which is cool. And the bridge is out for Grunty's Lair, so we're going to have to fly there. The flying controls are also better in this. Welcome to Grunty's Lair. It's from the first game, except this has also seen better days. Uh, there's been cave-ins that are blocking the two entrances that were there earlier, so we really can't go anywhere other than this main room. Also, Grunty's picture is now torn. But there are feathers back here. Also, there are now bundles of feathers instead of just individual ones. The bundles can uh, will often change between red and gold. So you can basically choose which one you want. I want to fill up my gold. Okay, I can only hold 10 gold feathers. Never mind. But we can hold 100 red feathers, which is interesting. And 100 eggs. Hello again, Banjo. Remember me? I'm Cheeto, the magical spell book. Yeah, yeah. We know who we are. Just hand over something useful. You're out of luck there, I'm afraid. Grunty ripped out all of my pages because I helped you in the last game. I'd be most grateful if you could look out for them on your travels. Maybe. What's in it for us? Well, for every five pages you return, I'll let you in on a little secret. You mean a cheat? Well, I'm not called Cheeto for nothing. <laughs> Sorry, but you'll have to find more pages before I'll tell you a new cheat. Let's go find some pages, Banjo. I want to cheat. <laughs> Kids, cheating doesn't get you anywhere in life. Well, actually, that's not true. Cheating will very often get you places in life, but it won't get you places in the afterlife. And if you get caught, there will be very big consequences. Kind of cool they put Grunty's Lair back in, even if you can barely get, do anything in it. Another interesting thing you can do... This broken out bridge functions as a ladder now. So what you can actually do is get on this rock and do a high jump. 
and then you can climb up to Grunty's Lair that way if you don't want to climb up the spiral and use the flight pad. Anyways, that's everything we can do for Spiral Mountain here right now. We will be coming back later on in the game as there's more stuff we can explore. But right now, we don't have the ability to do so. So let's go off to this new secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Klungo's waiting for us. Inside the Digger Tunnel. Oh, another thing I really like about Banjo-Tooie, you had this a little bit in Banjo-Kazooie, but anytime you go to, like, a different room in a world, it'll play, like, a variation on the main theme. I know Banjo-Kazooie also kind of had that, but it's much more noticeable in Banjo-Tooie. Alright. Who's this? It's Kalungo! Klungo, minion with a mission. <laughs> if it isn't the barren bird who caused so much trouble to Mistress Grunty. Hmm? I don't recall anything like that happening. <laughs> <laughs> you is stupid. At least we can speak properly. Hehehe. <laughs> Klungo is mad now. Your game ends here. Oh man, that's a short game. So Klungo will pull out one of three different potions and then eat it, which will have one of three different effects. You're yeah, now Klungo Squash. So the red potion will make Klungo grow massive. This is the easiest one to deal with. You all you have to do is roll into him when he's big, and boom. <laughs> Clever Klungo hide behind the magic shield and I'll show Banjo my special potion. Now he's gonna be invincible and chuck potions at us, but we can just easily run out of the way. No issue. So we have to wait till he's grown completely, and we can even just shoot an egg at him. Okay! Unless he do Klungo Smash. So there are one of three different potions that Klungo can drink here, and which potion he drinks is dependent on which file you use. So in file one, I believe he will always drink the red potion. And yeah, he's real easy. Even if he jumps on you, you can just roll, and if he jumps on you while rolling, then he's dead. You can also just keep your distance and uh, fire eggs at him. Very simple first boss. Nasty bear and bird hurts, poor Klungo. You asked for it! Why don't you run off and we'll forget the <laughs> this ever happened? <laughs> yeah, good idea, but you not seen last of Klungo. Klungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure, Klungo, with broomstick. Yeah, so as I was trying to say, there are three different potions that Klungo can use, and which one you use depends on the save file. I'm not sure if this means that, like, if you save file one, he will always drink the red potion, which will make him grow. Or it might just be when you start a new file, it is randomly selected which potion he will drink. We fight Klungo three times throughout the game, and so we'll see what all three of the potions do, and the red potion is just conveniently the easiest one to deal with. Although all of the potions are honestly pretty darn easy. Alright, so we came from... The brown side of the digger tunnel. We want to go to the green side. This is where Klungo fled off to. Talon Trot makes us go fast! And I wonder where this leads. 